the uh, AY3 8910 series sound chip, an awesome free channel sound chip which became available on several models, like the AY3 8910, the AY3 8912, the AY3 8913, the AY3 8914, and Yamaha branded versions like the YM2149. It was developed back in 1978 by General Instrument and first used in the Intellivision CP1600. Not much later it was used in many arcades and pinball machines, the Vectrex, the Amstrad CPC, the Auric 1, several MSX machines, the ZX Spectrum 128K models and many more. I grew up with the ZX Spectrum, here I am with my setup from back then. Nowadays with Lite I produce new hardware almost solely for the ZX Spectrum. Since I mostly work with ZX Spectrums, I will be talking about the ZX Spectrum models with AY sound chips mainly in this video. The AY sound chip is one of the most characteristic aspects of the ZX Spectrum 128K models. These machines all use the AY38912 chip, which have always been very reliable. It's also fairly easy to separate the free audio channels into stereo sound with a kit like the one on this board. Nowadays, apart from the still thousands of users of original ZX Spectrums, there are also many people who want to build a ZX Spectrum clone DIY kit. The most commonly known option for that are the Harlequin kits. These kits use mostly off-the-shelf parts, so there's no need for using an original ULA chip for example. However, the Harkin 128K kits do use an original AY3-8912 sound chip. And then there's the ZXAY, an external sound card for the ZX Spectrum using the AY3-8912 chip as well, though there is a version in development with an AY3-8910 chip. So these modern solutions use original AY3-8912 or AY3-8910 chips. Unfortunately, I've been able to obtain hundreds of these throughout the years. But I'm afraid that won't be possible much longer. Back in 2016 it was easy to obtain large numbers of AY38912 chips for less than 2 US dollars. A year or two later prices already tripled. And now in 2021 Suppliers are starting to ask over 20 US dollar each. Now some may say, hey, did you see those offers on AliExpress? Well, yes, but these offers are most often not really worth buying. Very often over half of the chips are not working. It's often hard to get a refund. Some other suppliers list the part but cancelled once you buy them. I've had it with UT Source about five times now. I'm still trying to find new sources, for example by asking some of my brokers that I know. The AY3-8913 chip is somewhat smaller than the 8912, so some time ago I wanted to find out if a small adapter board would be an idea. But unfortunately about all of these chips are not working, I've tried several suppliers. There's one more option, the 8910 version. It's still available and a lot cheaper than the 8912. However this chip won't fit on most boards that I need them for. And it turns out that many or most of these chips are actually remarked YM2149 chips. So, is the hardware requiring an AI sound chip coming to an end? Will there be no more Harlequin kits or ZXAY interfaces? AVRAY, a microcontroller based clone of the AY sound chip. It's named the AVRAY since it uses a microchip AVR microcontroller to reproduce the sound. As you can see, this specific model has two of these microcontrollers and emulates two AY chips. For an AY sound chip replacement, only one of these chips is needed. I'm already working on a single chip version. 
The parts are really affordable, but of course these boards need to be assembled. But still, the costs will be less than what you pay for an original chip right now. So, time to show you how to... Oh wait, let you hear how they sound. We're going to compare three chips, the AY3-8912, the new clone, and the Yamaha YM2149.
Wow, what an awesome sound quality the AVR AY has. So is this a low cost alternative for the AY 38912 sound chip? Most definitely, the sound quality is just awesome and unbelievably close to the original chip. Is the AVR AY a generic alternative for all machines that use the AY sound chip? Well no, the solution has a fixed internal clock frequency that can only be changed by modifying some configuration in the firmware and modifying the crystal on the board. At this moment this one is configured for the ZX Spectrum, but I've already seen other platforms using it, most probably with a slightly different firmware. For the ZX Spectrum, the Harlequin kits and the external ZX AY sound card, this is a great solution as a drop in replacement. I bet thousands of more Harlequin kits and ZX AY interfaces will be sold. So, rest in peace AY, but your legacy will live on forever. <laughs>